Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today we're going to show you how to do the Rapunzel braid from Disney's Tangle. So this is a great one not only for Halloween when you want to dress up like Rapunzel but also if you want to mix up an everyday braid in a really cute way. So we have started by parting our hair down the middle and then we gathered one little piece on each side of the middle part and did a micro braid with each one. And we'll come back and use these micro braids later. Now I'm gonna take her and flip her around and I'm gonna part about the ear a section and I'm gonna begin a Dutch braid. Now I'm gonna leave this kind of loose because I want that little bit of wave right there that we can see in her hair. I'm just gonna spritz just a little bit of hairspray to help hold the flyaways down. And I'm gonna begin my Dutch braid. Now if you don't know how to Dutch braid, you can refer to our other video. We have one that just shows a basic Dutch braid that will be a little more, bit more slow and detail oriented than this one today. But the basic idea on today's braid is to just kind of keep it low to the ear and as close to the hairline as possible down around the nape of her neck. And you're gonna just keep adding the hair in. Make sure you don't grab that micro braid in the process. We don't want that in there yet. And when you get to the middle and you run out of hair, then just braid it down just a little bit more than you actually need. And then I'm just gonna have her hold the braid for me while I do the other side. You hold that for me? Thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to the other side. Turn it around so you can see. Again, just kind of at the top of her ear. Remember, we basically want this side to match the last. And again, we're gonna do a Dutch braid. Really fast. Okay, keep adding the hair in. Again, don't pick up that micro braid. And when you have that all finished, what we're gonna do is join those two braids up. So we're gonna take the two braids and I'm gonna take a really tiny elastic that matches her hair color. And I'm gonna just bring those two braids together. Like so. Now what we're gonna do is do a regular braid from this point. So we're gonna take the tails of the two braids, divide it into three sections, and do a regular hair braid. Now don't worry about the elastic because we'll cover it in just a minute. And this is just your basic, easy, three strand braid right here. Again, grab a matching hair elastic, secure it at the end. Okay, now the micro braids, what we're gonna do is just crisscross them over the top, wrap them around, and cross them down the length of the ponytail till we run out of hair. And then we're just gonna secure them in the back. So that you can't see the ends. So we've now crisscrossed the micro braids all the way to the bottom and we've hidden the micro braids elastic in the back of our ponytail like that. And we, you can see that we have a really fun, intricate braid. Once you've completed your Rapunzel braid, it's time to accessorize it. Now, if you're going for a more everyday look, I would recommend using something like this clip or even a little flower on a bobby pin to just simply stick over the top of the rubber band that you could still see. But if you're going for a more authentic Rapunzel look, and you want to wear it for Halloween costume or birthday party, then you can use fresh flowers like we have to accessorize with. Now, all we did was go to our local grocery store or flower shop and just got some little small multicolored flowers and some baby's breath. 
and then we just poked them in throughout the braid until we liked it and we also used them to mostly hide those rubber bands that were showing before. So everyday look, use a clip, just stick it over the top of that rubber band. More fancy Rapunzel do, there you go. We hope you enjoy and we'll see you later. Bye.